So, as you just heard there, this video is going to be a little bit different than my usual videos. It's basically going to be kind of like a let's play. Yeah, that's what this is. We're going to be going on a rescue mission to save that commander that you just heard within that broadcast. And, by the way, this commander can be your companion at your camp, in case you didn't know in the Fallout 76 Wastelanders DLC, which is awesome! So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go save this chick. Let's do it, guys. So first things first, we're going to have to strap up and head on over to this area. Which this location right here is a abandoned bunker, but I don't have it unlocked on this character. This is one of my alt characters. This is my spaceman character. The reason why I chose this character is because, well, we're saving an astronaut here. Might as well get in the theme of this Let's Play. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on over to her location. By the way, I guess since I'm in a loading screen, might as well plug this. If you find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. As always, the support is greatly appreciated. And hey, if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing for daily Fallout 76 content. That's right. Uh, ooh, that was nasty. Never burp while you're commentating, Rifle. You gotta have manners, buddy. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Gosh. I am a horrible Let's Player, aren't I, guys? Anyways, hopefully this gets the gist across over how you get this companion. She's pretty hot. She's pretty hot, I'm telling y'all. Just kidding. She's alright. But yeah, as you can see, I just discovered the abandoned bunker. Alright. Let's go ahead and step on inside and save our babe. Okay. So, once inside this bad boy... Oh, my. I'll get rid of that. That's a... Oh, God. I hate roaches. You guys disgust me. Anyways, once inside, we're just going to be heading down here. And busting a right right here. She's going to be located right in this room here. She has fell and she can't get up. Quick, call life alert. Come on, lady. You could do it. But yeah, as you can see, she's an astronaut just like me. <laughs> Not funny. And her name is Commander... Uh, hang on. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Might as well just look it up on the internet. Daguerre. 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 Okay. So yeah, this is Commander Daguerre. She's a feline that you can have as a companion at your camp. And you can actually, eventually, romance her. How nice. Isn't that nice, Commander Daguerre? We're going to be romancing in the future. How do you feel that I'm this close to you while you're bleeding out and slowly dying? Anyways, enough about that jibber-jabber. Let's go ahead and interact with her and see what she has to say. No, I can't think. Are you, are you a doctor? Am I a doctor? Did the... The United States Space Administration send you. They must have issued you a stim pack, right? What the? I don't have a stim pack. I could have sworn I brought a stim pack. Oh, I hope wow! You're Wounded woman, I'm coming back to give you your stim pack. All right, back with your stim pack, babe. Take this. Uh, you back to help? U.S. Space Administration. Oh, thank you. So, you're real after all, huh? That's a relief. Oh, I can feel it working, but oh, just so tired. Not sure if I can stand quite yet. My name is Commander Sofia Daguerre. I'm an astronaut with the USSA. It's a pleasure to meet you. So fast forwarding a little bit here, as you can see, she wants us to go find her old crew. 
She apparently crashed from space, and now here she is on Earth, right in front of us. Don't worry, babe, I got you. Um, I can get that flight recorder. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. My body is still shaking, so I'm gonna just try to stay still and listen to the comms. Just in case. She's delusional. All right, let's go retrieve this flight data recorder. It's not too far from here. Not too shabby. Oh, dang. This has got to be where her and her crew crash landed. And there's that flight recorder. Whoa. This is weird looking around in here. Makes me kind of feel, I don't know, dizzy. Oh, we got some enemies. Looks like, oh, 68. This has to be level based. If you're a level 10 and you come here, more than likely you're not going to be fighting level 68 super mutants. For Pete's sake, come on. Come on. Watch out. Yeah. I like this build. It's fun. Oh my goodness, it's just a bunch of super mutant suiciders. It's kind of awesome. And at the same time, petrifying. Crud. Crud. Stop shooting me. Haha. -ha. You know, I kind of like it how these are level based. Because this would be pretty boring if these super mutants that were charging after me were just like level, you know, 20 or something. Instead, I'm kind of pooping my pants a little. Alright, let me go ahead and collect this now. Sweet. Take this back to... Take this back to my bay real quick. Here you go. Take it. Take it! Oops. I'm guessing nobody from the Space Administration was up there collecting evidence and looking for survivors. Huh. I hate to break it to you. Um, I guess I'm going to go with... I got your fight recorder data now. Well, let's do this. Come on. That's a relief. No. We just have to decrypt it to access the data. Our ship's robot would have had a standard grade USSA encryption key. If it survived the crash, it would be heading back to the nearest military depot. Okay, oh, well, I'm just gonna go with this option. Oh, right. Uh, of course. There's. There's an emergency code, uh... Blue Sunset. I can't believe I forgot that. Um, okay. Tell me what to it's do simple, next. really. Get to the robot and get the encryption key. I can tune its transmitter signal to your external device there. You should be able to track it down. Alright, roger that. Copy. Over. Pandora? Warning. Do not interfere. This unit is on an emergency assignment. Direct inquiries. Ah, um, blue sunset. Access code received. Validating code. Confirming identity. Accepted. Welcome, Commander Daguerre. Transmitting encryption key. Daguerre. Terminating transmission. This unit will now continue to USSA custody presently. Stand back. I'm here. It's good to see you standing, babe. I had hoped I could reprogram this console here. But it's barely functional. Did you find the encryption key? Yes, I did, and guess what? I have 6 plus charisma, so I get this option. I have your key. It wasn't easy. And a little extra payment would be appreciated. Let's do that. Oh, uh, sure. Makes sense, I guess. Um, I feel greedy. Here. Thanks for getting the key. Unfortunately, it doesn't do me much good without a functioning console. Oh, come on. You want something else? All right, let's get this going. I'm not sure it'd be worth it, all the flooding down here. But we might be able to rebuild it uh, above ground. You wouldn't know of a secure location, would you? I'm um, sure. Yeah, you can come on over to my camp. Yeah! Now we're talking, so this is when the magic begins. You're welcome to crash at my camp if you'd like. 
Y you're sure? I mean, you've already done so much for me. Maybe just for a night or two. Until I feel better. Thank you. I don't want to slow you down, though. Maybe you should take these schematics. Get that console rebuilt at your camp. I should be able to get there by the time it's built. And, hey, thanks for your help. I bet this was not what you planned to do today, but I'm real glad you found me. I'm real glad I found you too. Oh man, I can already see it now. This is becoming a beautiful story. Look at us. Look at us. We're like two peas in a pod. We're like peanut butter and jelly. We're like bananas and applesauce. We're like... Uh... Uh... uh okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna check my camp. So yeah, here we go, guys. You guys get to see my camp. My spaceman camp. Can't wait for y'all to see it. I don't know if y'all have seen this. It's literally a spaceship. So anyways, yeah, this is my spaceship. Here's the outside of it. It's literally a spaceship. Can you see the story now? It's becoming even more beautiful, right? We're gonna be making love in a spaceship. Oh my gosh, come on, robot. You're ruining the story. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, this is my spaceship. Give you all a quick outer view tour of it. Oh, ooh, that looks ugly. Let me go ahead and fix that. There we go. Let me go ahead and now make the astronauts console inside my spaceship, as you can see at the top right. Place it right, um, right here, because why not? Beautiful. Oh my gosh, no! The workshop's budget has been exceeded. Well, this sucks. I don't want to delete anything. I'm just gonna go to another character, I guess. That's sad. All right, so I went through it again on a different character, just because I didn't want to delete a lot of my spaceship at the moment. And as you can see, though, in the camp category now, I have a selection that goes by allies, which is pretty awesome. I guess I'm gonna place her right here. Basically, wherever you place this, she's going to be around it because she has to work on this computer quite a bit. So yeah, once you place that, as you can see, you get the, you start the quest called Ally, the woman who fell to Earth. Now, over time, you can complete quests that she'll give you. She actually gives you daily quests for you to take on, and it'll slowly build your reputation with her. And over time, well, must I say more? You actually get to uh, romance with her. Oh yeah. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and interact with her here. This is what she says. This console looks pretty good. A little rusty in places, though. I guess you got these parts from a junkyard, huh? Resourceful. The scanner currently has a Model 38X2, which is built for scanning very specific locations. Not bad, but I would like to improve it. The year before I launched, the military was rolling out some scanner upgrades. One of those could give us more speed and detail in our scans. Can you find a scanner upgrade module for this? It would help us find so much more, and much more quickly. Of course I'll find a scanner upgrade module for you. Swell. In the meantime, I'll fix up this console a bit. Did you know that it still uses the outdated P-14B configuration for its power chamber? I mean, I know you all survived the end. Yeah, that's basically how things are going to be working around here now. You're just going to be taking quests from her, which is pretty sweet. But, yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everybody. Just wanted to introduce this to you all, just in case you didn't know about this companion. Just wanted to do kind of like a Let's Play video. I just felt like it would be different. And hopefully entertaining to you all. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.